My name is Gavin Naylor. I'm the director of the Florida Program for Shock Research and I work at the University of Florida. So I have uh, a lot of different projects, one of which is comparing genetic variation of white sharks around the world. We are familiar with white shark hotspot regions where we see them most, Australia, South Africa, off the Northwest Atlantic, and also in the Eastern Pacific around California and Mexico. What we see from the genetic data is that individuals from particular regions seem more similar to one another than individuals from other regions. But when we compare on a regional level, we see that there are some associations, such as the ones in the Northwest Atlantic, seem more similar to the ones off the coast of South Africa, and the ones in Australia are more similar to the ones on the Eastern Pacific than they are to anything in the Atlantic or South Africa. If we compare two kinds of information, the information that's recorded directly from their tracks and the information that's estimated from their genetic relationships, and we see a difference, that tells us something about behavior of these animals. It tells us that they're behaving in such a way that's different from the information that you would get solely from their movement patterns. Being on an expedition like this allows us to sample animals genetically that are simultaneously being tracked. Often we can track individuals but not sample them genetically. And so this allows us to actually get the same individuals and get two kinds of information from the very same individual. And that's very useful. 